So with all these new projects I've been making, I wanted to show people a cool way of the object that I'm building. And I thought um, one idea would be to have the object and take a series of pictures at a slightly different angle, stitch it all together, and I could make something like an animated GIF or uh, uh, put it at the beginning and end of the video so it shows the object looks like it's rotating from every angle so you can see what it is. Um, and then I realized there's some uh, software there's one I used to use a long time ago called PhotoFly from AutoCAD. And you could take an image and you could import it into CAD and make a 3D CAD model. And from that, I could make plans really quickly. I wouldn't have to measure. It would already be in there. And I tried their app on the phone. And they had you taking so many pictures from a low angle. They had you taking 18 pictures from a low angle. And then from a higher angle, they had you taking six more. And I drew this up on AutoCAD and it's a template I'm going to use. I'm going to make a, uh, just a plate or a dish and that will tell me I'll rotate it so I won't have to rotate the object. I'll have the camera on a tripod, I'll put the object on the center of this plate and I'll rotate it to the number and then I'll take those pictures, import it into the program and hopefully I'll have the rotating image, then I can import it in the CAD, then I can make easy quick plans for people. I can import that from CAD to SketchUp. So We'll try it out. So I'm starting with this. This is going to be my uh, plate or my dish or whatever. And it's just a piece of, uh, it's almost like thin melamine. And I made this, uh, it's just a board with a nail and a spot for a pencil. And I, I did a center line and just tracing this around, I got my circle. I'm going to cut this out. Then I'm going to take the numbers off of here and transfer it onto the board. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. I have the base, I have the board with the, whole, the circle on it screwed on, I have everything painted, all the numbers marked, and this fits into the base and it will hopefully keep it centered as it rotates. Um, it's on a, ta a white table. I have my camera there on a tripod and a shop light. Um, so you line up the one, and for this you can just use this was the first thing I did my wood square. Come back to the camera on the tripod and I have it set on manual mode so that every picture uh, is even. You take the first picture and then you rotate it to the next line. So that was right now that was lined up on one. We'll rotate it to the two. Take another picture and keep going around and this should give you a very even rotation all the way around the object which you can then take put in a Photoshop make your animated GIF. Now you'll notice that some numbers like this has one one two three two four five that's from the one two three D catch program they wanted eighteen at a lower angle like here and then they wanted six at a higher angle here to try to get uh, a full resolution of the image. For the rotating GIF, I'm just using the bottom numbers, but for the 3D uh, creation program, I'm going to raise the camera up and shoot it from a higher angle. But after this, you take all the pictures and go to Photoshop. I had this old uh, bearing, I think it's from a VCR player, and I just put it on a piece of wood and I set it on a board and um, it wasn't real solid, but it, it kind of got the job done for the first couple things I built. But this was my original plan, and since then I came up with a simpler and better and stronger version. And all it is is a, two boards, two circles, and I took the, a router bit, uh, a convex a domed router bit, and I routed a groove in both boards the same, and I filled the gaps with marbles. And it's super simple, it's just how a wheel bearing works. And 
it rides on that. I can put any weight on this. It's not going to bend. It's not going to wobble like this did. And I'll be able to rotate the object around. I'll put this board back on top, and I'm going to put a bolt through it um, so that it'll hold it together, not tightly, just so that it won't open and everything falls out. But I know I always start with something more complicated, but just taking two boards, some marbles, and route a groove in it. And the way I did it is I set it up on the router table and I put a nail through the center and I lined it up and I just slowly rotated it through that router bit. Uh, two things, obviously the, the bit has to be, the groove has to be bigger than the marble side to side and it has to be not deeper than halfway, otherwise the boards will just sandwich together and not move. So you want that gap, you want about, I have an eight inch gap where it rides on the marbles. And the smoother the better. This isn't super smooth, but it's fine for what I need it. Um, it spins easy. It holds all the weight I can put on it. Whereas that other one didn't really do well. It was kind of wobbly. And so that's what I'm going to do from now on uh, at the beginning or end or on my blog of all the videos so I can show whatever I built hopefully clearly and everyone can see it and understand what I did. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.